welcome back to Sweets and Beyond. My name is Aida and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my version of Cuban style black beans in the Power Pressure Cooker XL. But don't worry, I'm also going to tell you how to make it in the stove top. Here are the ingredients. Okay, here I have a bag. It was 14 ounces of black beans that I soaked overnight and I changed the water. That's why you see the water is clear. When you soak them overnight, the water turns really, really dark and we don't want that. So I rinsed it. Here I have half of a large bell pepper that I finely diced, two medium onions that I finely diced as well, and I saved a little bit of the onion to pour on top. About a quarter of a cup of finely diced ham, just regular ham, about six cloves of garlic. Here I have one bay leaf, one and a half teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. I have a few sprigs, maybe eight or ten sprigs of cilantro, and about three tablespoons of olive oil. Let's get started. Okay, so this is a pressure cooker. It's called the Power Pressure Cooker XL, and it has so many buttons that you can choose from. It has the bean and lentil setting that we will be using in a second, but I'm going to put it to chicken and meat because it heats up and we're going to saute our veggies. So it only takes a couple of minutes for it to um, come up to temperature. And we're go just going to drop in all of the veggies. And you will be doing this too if it were on the stove top. And we're just going to move it around. And the good thing is, this is non-stick. So we're just going to move this around until the onions are nice and translucent. So it's sizzling away. And now we're going to add the chopped ham and the cilantro. You would still do this. But this will be separate in a stove top. You would create this mixture and set it to the side and then we would boil the beans just with three cups of water for at least one hour until they're tender. And then when they're tender you will add this to the beans and heat them up. But since we have the pressure cooker we're going to do it all in one pot. Okay so now all the onions and the veggies are nice and translucent. So now we're going to add the black beans, which I drained already. Well, sort of. We're just going to add the beans. We're going to add all our yummy spices. Going to add them. And we're going to add three cups of water. We're going to stir this around. So remember, in the stove top, you would just boil the beans with three cups of water or a little bit more. We're going to boil them with no salt, no additives, until they're nice and soft. Then you would create this base, base and put them together. So we're just going to swish them around, making sure everything from the bottom is incorporated nice. We're going to test it for salt. And it's perfect right there. So now on to pressure cooking. Okay, so now I'm going to lock the pressure cooker and I'm going to put the steam valve. This is the open position. I'm going to put it to the closed position, making sure it's nice and locked. And now we're going to go here where it says beans and lentils right here. We're going to press it and we're going to put it for 30 minutes. So now this will cycle, it'll start cycling just like this until it builds pressure. Once it builds the pressure is when the timer, the 30 minutes, are going to start. So we will be back when these, this is done. Okay, so the timer reached zero. So now I'm going to release the pressure. Oh. And as soon as the pressure is released, then we can unlock it. Okay, so all the pressure has been released, so that means that we can open it. It smells amazing. Let me show you. 
see how everything is nice and cooked and soft so you can serve it like this over rice but to me it's a little bit soupy so what I like to do is I just pour a little bit about two ladles full me move this so I so I can show you and I'm gonna shush it so this way it'll thicken it'll thicken the black bean soup so now I'm just gonna pour it back in and I will show you in a bit the finished product Okay, so here you have it, my version of Cuban style black beans made in the power pressure cooker XL. How beautiful they look. And this, remember the, the little bit of onion that I had saved? So I just put it on top and I think it just gives it a nice touch. So remember, if you want to do this in the stove top, boil the beans first with no additive, just water, about four or five cups of water, boil it, then separate in a separate pan you will put all the veggies and then when the beans are cooked you're going to incorporate both of them together I did it this way because it cooks faster in the power pressure cooker XL so you can serve it just like I did like um, a soup or you can serve it over rice or you like I like to do I just like to put rice in it and then smush it <laughs> I use smush smush it around so if you want more info on the Power Pressure Cooker XL, or if you're interested in buying one, I'm going to leave a link down below. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. And after this, there's going to be a little box that says click to subscribe. Click on that if you haven't subscribed. Also, down below, I'm going to leave all my links to my social media, to my Facebook and to my Instagram. Buen provecho. You know it's hot like always. Hmm. Try it.